Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Subtech Off-Road Life channel. And today, we're going to talk about cleaning your UTVs, your ATVs, your four-wheelers, your side-by-sides, your razors, whatever you got that you got to clean after every ride. And uh, we're going to talk about how to do it and how to do it cheaply. <clears throat> I just dropped the instruction booklet, so I'm going to bend down and pick it up. <laughs> At least it's not soap and I'm not prison. All right, anyway. This is the... Obviously the box is open. Uh, I wanted to get these out. I haven't actually pulled everything out. So this is going to be sort of an unboxing. I don't know. Th those things are weird to me. They're like why do people want to sit and watch you open a box? Anyway, this is the Homdo or Homdox or something like that uh, pressure washer. Now, I've been using a 2800 PSI Honda gasoline powered uh, you know really nice water pressure uh, pressure washer but that's gone away it's gone back to its home and uh, going and getting it every time I want to wash is kind of a pain so I got to thinking what can I do to keep do keep uh, pressure washing without having to make the trips well obviously buy my own these things cost a lot of money I mean, 2800 PSI or better costs a lot of money, and you don't need that much PSI to be washing your ATVs and UTVs, and even like little garden projects and stuff like that around the house. So I went out on a limb, took a risk, and I'm going to try this Home Do or Home Docs or Home Docs or whatever, however you pronounce it. Yeah, it's always from Japan or China or something like that. I'm going to try it. It's electric. And it's, uh, what is the pressure on it? The pressure on it is 2,000 PSI. The, the max is 2,600, but it's rated at 2,000. It's also a TSS or total stop system, which means if you're not engaging the trigger, the pump shuts off, saves life on the pump. So, uh, I, I guess I'll open this up and put it all together, but what you're going to be more interested in is how it actually functions. So let's get to that as soon as we possibly can. Here we go. This is supposed to be a 33 foot pressure hose, which is nice. A, long, a, lot, of, a lot of hose, wand and handle, nozzles. You can also use it to run uh, soaps, detergents, handle. Now here's the unit itself, it's even on wheels. So I'm gonna set this up really quick, and then we'll take it outside and see how it works. Okay, real quick, it is put together now. Uh, you gotta put the handle on, you gotta put the, the cable holder here on, and you gotta slide this on. It comes with six screws, two long ones and four short ones. The four short ones go in here, the two long ones go here. This just slides on. The, the wand comes with this piece off, you just slide it in and twist it. It goes right on. <coughs> Excuse me. The pressure hose hooks in by pushing this in. You slide it up in there and get it all the way up, and then you let this out, and then it secures itself in there. Four different nozzles, and they're just quick, quick, quick on and off. And uh, so we're gonna go out and try them and see how this thing works. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so now we're all hooked up. Of course, water in high pressure out and what they say to do is turn the water on first the in water and then uh, go pull the trigger and release the pressure until all the air is out and then you can turn the uh, unit on so that's what we're going to do and uh, we're going to see now if you look here under the razor you see a bunch of mud and that's from a few days ago when I got back uh, the mud was so packed on here and I just took the regular water hose and just knocked a lot of it off but What's important As you can see here all this Mud that's still there and that stuff uh, takes a lot of pressure to get off so We're going to see if that works We're going to put her to the test. Okay, so just turn the water on now. I'm going to check the connection see this that 
So we have water coming in, all the air out. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Wow, perfect. See hear that? It doesn't run the pump unless I turn it All right, so this is uh, how it looks after the initial pressure washing without uh, doing any uh, mean green or um, purple power, any kind of degreaser. It definitely pulled the mud off. There's a couple spots I missed, I see. Uh, but we'll uh, take care of that in a few. But man much better i mean this was i literally to be able to get the handles the levers under the seats uh take them out I, I literally had to dig out the mud to get to them that's how bad it was so this is looking pretty good considering what it was so anyways this is uh, pretty windy out here right now the audio may be bad i'm gonna uh turn it off and, and get to the rest of it All right, not bad for a 2,000 mile machine. Uh, lots of rough climbing trails, mud trails, stuff like that. And uh, this little uh, pressure washer did its job. And that's how it looks after the initial uh, spray off and then hitting it with the degreaser. I haven't um, uh, SC1'd it yet because I just wanted to see how it looked with, without doing that. but. There's obviously, you know, some wear and tear on the machine itself, but that's not uh, any fault of the pressure washer. But that thing, uh, it certainly puts out the pressure. It, it uh, does a good job. So I got to tell you, I was actually quite uh, amazed at how well this is done. Uh, whenever I started researching for it, I did a lot of uh, reading the reviews and stuff like that and watching videos. And uh, I was a little sketchy when it just because I'm so used to the big, you know, gasoline engine uh, operated pressure washers. But this little thing does a job. My favorite part of it is the uh, TSS or True Stop system, where as soon as you let off that uh, trigger, it uh, it stops running the pump, and then uh, as soon as you hit the trigger, the pump kicks on again. So, and that's going to keep down on the wear and tear. It's very light. Everything seals really good. Inlet, the water inlet, the 
the outlet the pressure hose is is very high quality pressure hose uh, like I said it's got it's rated at 2600 psi max 2000 psi is what it, it probably runs at most of the time and uh, it works quite well I'm actually very uh, impressed I was a little concerned when I first got it but uh, I'm impressed with it so anyway um, there is a link down below if you want to go check one out and uh, to me it's lightweight it's a uh, it's easier to move around and to deal with in fact once I'm done with making the video here I'm going to uh, move the razor into the garage let it dry some more or it could be SE1 but I'm going to put the four-wheeler in place and uh, clean it up it needs a good cleaning too all right so go check out the link below I think uh, it's a really good piece of machinery for you know for cleaning razors and stuff like that it's also good for uh, stuff around the house it's not a big industrial thing where you're going to be you know blowing off brick walls and stuff like that but uh, you know garden work things around the house cleaning the car stuff like that it's gonna be perfect for it. it's lightweight it's easy to move around so check it out all right well this is a uh, subject thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye bye <music>